Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. I just finally got in uh, part of my Puppet Master collection. There is a set of four of them, and I got them on Big Bad Toy Store, and the pre-order finally came through. I got the first two. Uh, one is Tumbler, and the, not Tumbler, Tunneler, and Pinhead. Now, it's not the Pinhead from the Hellraiser series. This is a completely different character. Uh, this movie came out, I believe, in the 1980s. And believe it or not, this movie... Uh, they still continue making the movies all the way up to the present day. There is, in fact, a total of 15 movies based on the Puppet Master. Now, these are four infamous characters. They're puppets that go around killing people. Uh, and these are the first two. I should have the other two coming in whenever they, uh, they give me notice on the pre-orders. Okay, Obviously, it's coming in a separate shipment. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the box. It is very unique. It's different than most of them. And the characters in themselves, which I will show you once I get them out of the box, they are a lot smaller than I anticipated. Not a bad thing because the details there, I'm going to show you all that stuff. But the box in itself, as you can see, is very cool looking. All right, And here is the unique thing about this. I'm going to shut this down here real quick. If you open up the box, it shows you the actual characters. Okay. And you got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here. All right. now that's what the box looks like. And it's got a cool logo and stuff. Very cool. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pull these out of their box. And then we're going to actually look at the figure in itself. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back. And upon pulling these things out of their boxes, they are in fact a lot smaller than anticipated. They're roughly around 3 inches tall. There's two in a box, so it's going to cost you roughly maybe a little over $30, possibly $40. Can't remember how much I paid for it. Uh, but these in themselves, because of the small feet, they will not stand, okay? Unless you can carefully balance them, uh, walk them by, because of the small feet, they're going to fall over regardless. It's just the way NECA made them for some reason. The feet are too small, and what's surprising about it, is you don't actually see no holes in the bottom where you can actually put it on one of the round discs so you can hold them in place. I don't see that unless, you know, unfortunately if I want to get these things to stand, I might have to glue these to the discs. I got Gorilla Glue, but I don't really want to do that, so I'll figure a way out. Maybe just lean them against the back of the shelf. But let's get into this one here. Now, as you can see, he's got some big fists. <laughs> Anyway, and he's got a tiny little head. That's why they call him Pinhead. Okay. And the articulation on these are very similar to the other ones. Um, they do move at the shoulders here. And also at the elbows, they do bend. Saying, power. I got the power. All right. So they do have that kind of articulation in the, uh, the, the elbow. The hand also twists around. Okay, the head does twist, okay, but like I said, it's a small head, it's a tiny head. Legs are the same way, they do move at the hips here, and the torso does swing back and forth too, see, okay, yeah baby, alright, same thing with the, uh, the knees, they bend at the knees, okay, and right here at the feet, as you can see, they do move back and forth. And these feet are really small because of the uh, figure. But like I said, you really can't. And I see no holes there, so you can't really put this on one of the stands unless you glue it. Or if you can get it to balance without falling over, that would be wonderful. He's got a big back, as you can see. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and show you what it looks like. And I'll show you the accessories that it comes with this particular character Pinhead. He is not the same pinhead from the Hellraiser series. He came out, I think, shortly after this. I think in 1984 is when the first Puppet Master movie came out. Um, and that's before Hellraiser. I think Hellraiser came out in 1989. 
the first one I think I could be wrong it's been a while since I'm on remember the dates of the movies and stuff like that but that's pinhead right there guys okay so now what I'm gonna do is lay him down show you the accessories that come with the pinhead he does have these hands okay as you can see they are a little bit more open-fisted you can uh, switch them out because and put his weapons in those hands these are closed and there is no gaps in there that you well you could but you'd be forcing it but you can switch these hands out to use these so you can put the actual weapons in their hands as you can see pull closer for you see so that's why I plan on doing switching out the hands and putting some weapons in there well maybe not because obviously I can't get them to stand so I'll figure that part out but keep that in mind if you buy these uh, you will not be able to make them stand unless you play around with it and if you walk by the shelf or something or wherever you got to put it on uh, it's probably going to vibrate and fall over anyway because they're going to be a pain okay I will tell you that but anyway let's get into the other weapons that he has he's got this here I believe they call this a pipe wrench or something I used to bash them in the head with these things the details really cool on us too. That's cool. I like that. Okay, moving on to the next one, which is a spear type thing. It's almost like a fish hook, you know what I'm saying? And the detail is really nice on us too copper tones really cool all right enough about him let's move on to the next one which is the tunneler now like I said I have two more coming in but I gotta wait for the pre-order to be um, once they get their packages in they'll let me know those have the other two uh, characters one is blade and I can't remember the other one but it's been a while I think since the movie first came out was actually the last time I actually saw it okay so it's been a while. This guy right here is very cool looking. Here, let me just kind of straighten his head up. Okay. That's the tunneler. And I'll show you the accessories that come with this guy too. Now he's a lot smaller than the other one. The articulation. NECA did a fantastic job on the articulation. It does move at the shoulders. The smallest this thing is, okay? It's just like the Chucky doll. And it does bend, as you can see. Hands also move the same way. The head does move from side to side. See? That's, that's cool. Nice articulation. Same with this side here. At the hips. Okay, I want to move it in a little bit. You see, it does swing back and forth. And it also bends at the knee. And it does twist at the torso. Most of the necker figures, regardless of their size, all seem to have similar articulation. The feet moves up and down a little bit, as you can see. And it also, it doesn't swing back and forth too much. I don't think they're meant to do that, but this one here, if you play around with it, you can actually get this one to stand. Okay, so keep that in mind. Alright, that's what he looks like up close. Freaking cool looking. Been looking forward to these guys ever since they uh, came on pre order. I said ding ding and got a boat. I got all four of them. So I just got to wait for the other two to come in. All right, now this character here is roughly around the same size as this guy here. Okay, and they are very small. But like I said, they're going to be hard to stand up, especially this guy because he is top heavy and he's definitely not going to stand. Unless you play around with it, you get lucky, but it will fall over. All right, now let's get into the uh, the weapons and accessories that come with this. Now here is kind of like a chemical bottle or something. And it's got stuff in it. See, that's cool. Like I said, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. I'm not sure why this is here unless he used it for something. Who knows? But I gotta watch the movie again. 
But like I said, there is a total of 15 of these movies. They have been making them, just like the Ultraman series came out in 1966 to 1967. The very first Ultraman, which is Ultraman Hayata, or the original, that in itself I thought was going to actually be the last um, of the Ultraman, but they've been making them ever since, and still to this day, they're still making Ultraman. Same thing with the um, Puppet Master, 15 movies. Amityville Horror has a total of, I think, 25 the largest franchise with the most movies is the Godzilla franchise, which I think they have 36 movies altogether, and that's including Godzilla 1998. Okay, moving on to this guy. It is a pick, okay? Oh, that's cool looking. It's like, whoosh, oh, right in the head. That's cool. Let's move on to the next one here. This is the actual head. It's a replaceable head. Now, Pinhead don't have a replaceable head for some reason. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But this guy has two different heads. See, that's what he looks like. I think it's like a closed eye one. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, this one's got the open eyes. Let me see if we can get him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's the difference between the two of them right there. Alright. You can replace the heads if you want. It's your choice. Last thing. No, actually, one more thing. Two more things. An old school uh, machine gun. Probably from World War II. Because I think this was set just, you know, shortly after the world, uh, after the war. And you got all these accessories. They're more like um, German type uh, characters. But I'm not 100% sure about their origins, but they, they come off as being German in a way. Especially with this guy here, Tunneler. He's got a German appeal to him, okay? But that's the machine gun that it comes with, okay? So let me just give you a close-up shot of this. So you can see the detail of that. Look at that. That's cool. Very nice detail. And last but not least, actually there's one more thing here. That's this guy right here, and that's his hand. Okay, and that hand you can replace, put weapons in it. That's the main reason for the hand. Now, last but not least, finally, is this guy here. Is these fish hooks? I lay them in my hand so you can see what they look like here. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I can uh, actually look online to see how they dress these guys up. And I might do that. But like I said, it's going to be a hard thing to make them stand. Unless I glue them to the uh, actual stand stands themselves. Then we will be okay. But I don't necessarily want to do that. But if I have to, I have to. Okay. So, But anyway, that's the entire collection between Pinhead and Tunneler. And like I said, I definitely do have the other ones coming in. Once the pre-order, once they uh, say, all right, we got them in stock, we're going to send it out to you, and bang, I'll let you know about that too. All right. So, with this in mind, this is Pumpkin Horror. This is a channel that is completely um, Halloween and obviously horror. So, that is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about this now. So, you've seen the entire collection so far that I've got. Like I said, when the other two come in, we'll do another review on that. Uh, these figures in themselves are roughly around three inches tall. And like I said, their feet are so small. And these figures are small. They will definitely fall over. You can see how small their feet are right here. Okay. But like I said, if you put them on a shelf because... Of how small they are, they will fall over. I've got the uh, NECA figures based on the Halloween 3 season of the witch. And those things are always falling. I don't know why. It's just the way they're built. Okay. But it is crazy. And that right there is Pinhead. I think that's cool. Okay. But that's it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. 
because I will be pushing out some more videos. And like I said, I will uh, do another video once the other box set comes in. Okay. I got a few more items coming in through Big Bad Toy Store. One is a Frankenstein. I do got a Jason. I think it's Jason from uh, 6. I think Jason lives. can't remember, but anyway. Um, I got one of those coming in. And I got a few more masks from Trick or Treat Studios all set up on Big Bad Toy Store. Amazon.com, I got a bunch of masks all set up and ready to go. I got another one coming in. It's going to be hopefully here in the next couple of days. It is a Herman Munster mask from Ruby's. Okay, it looks really cool. It's not 100%, um, not articulated, but uh, uh, like a replica. It's not, it's not one of those. But when you look at it, you know it's, a, uh, it's Herman Munster, okay? Now, there is a video on YouTube, and there's only one video that I came across that actually shows that Herman Munster uh, mask. He actually bought it, and he's got it sitting on the shelf, but the way he handled it, you really couldn't see it because he had the angle wrong on it. When I get that mask, obviously it's going to be a little bit different, so you'll be able to see it in detail. Um, but anyway, long story short, we're going to end this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys at the next video.